guy walking this tightrope. And I'm sorry, maybe it's just my black lineage or the terror and destruction that my mother reigned in my childhood, but I can't help but think this is exactly what black parents be talking about when they say you walking on thin ice. Anyway, we cut to some assholes straight up harassing Shoko from JJK. Like y'all dead ass can't tell me this ain't a copy and paste and they just hit the flip on the Photoshop. Anyway, these lame ass squares trying to get the box, but Shoko ain't going for none of that. And this mysterious dude pulls up to tell bro to chill out. But Alpha Jock over here thought he was standing on business and took a swing at bro. Bro pulled out the smoothest weave. And I'm not gonna lie, if somebody got you like this, it's only two things about to happen. They either finna let you live or we die. But this is anime, so y'all already know. Him and his crew got the Sonic rings knocked out of them. That's when I knew I'm going to like this anime. But I know damn well he don't got bro tooted up like this. I'm not going to lie, somebody do this to you after a fight? Never step foot in the ring again, my boy. Just take the train to the nearest airport and come to America and start anew. Then nowadays, that video still might surface. Anyway, this is Haruka Sakura. I'm going to be honest with y'all boys. This name is ass. I can't sit here and root for you to win all the scraps when you got Sakura in your name, my boy. That's destined failure. So insane, because you kind of look cold. I'm going to call you two-tone. Obviously because of the hair. But I feel like you be piecing fools up too. Anyway, for saving her, Shoko shows gratitude to bro by chefing him up a meal. And look, I know his first episode. But go ahead and wipe her up, gang. Just go ahead and do it. Because ain't no way she cooked you up a Jamaican beef patty with some broccoli for first link, gang. I'm letting you know right now, she the one. We find out this town is basically run by gang and turf wars. Sound familiar. And our boy Two-Tone main goal is to become top dog around the area. So after bro finishes eating, he's walking down the street and see some straight menaces terrorizing the area. My question is, where the cops at? Like I know damn well y'all ain't let a bunch of juvenile delinquents scare y'all out of the town. Get on, take these fools and put them on scare straight. I know all these town folks can't be scrubs either, bruh. I know one of y'all gotta have hands. No damn well, I'm not about to sit around while some punks run the city. Shit, I would've looked like the second coming of Javante Davis out there. Turns out these these the dudes that Two-Tone touched up earlier. But this time, they bought the whole squad out. Y'all about sorry as hell for this. Y'all really bought the whole gang out to deal with one dude. Really. Bro tries to press Two-Tone for earlier, but Two-Tone ain't even looking for no trouble. He started roasting him, talk about some. Damn, bro, that's your real hair? I know you don't got no holes, fool. Look, y'all, let's call him Oreo. Because his hair. <laughs> bro even asked him if he was cosplaying. <laughs> Not gonna lie, he kind of cooked them with that one. But Two Tone had to be watching Drewski earlier, cause one man army, I'm standing on business. Straight Dex bro in the face, sent his ass back to a slice life anime. Runs up on the squad, we we knocks the slobber out this fool's mouth. Proceeds to leap off him like a trampoline. Stop it right there, because look, that's when I would have turned my black ass around and walked home, and then gave my other dog CTE. Then hit bro with a two piece combo. We takes his manhood, and this dude come in ready to risk it all. Cause why you the only one running up? with a bat game bro weaves it dude tries to sneak him but bro was ready and hit his ass the ryan garcia special leaps off his back double showtime kick haymaker bro pause it look at the fear in this fool's eyes he knew he fucked up faint into the roundhouse then left straight his ass to far far away then gut kicks bro flips this dumb ass punches him while he mid air then we got wannabe bruce lee doing flying kicks got his ass weave i'm not gonna lie bro literally tried to kill this man look at the hang time into this goddamn kick but we just getting started. Put him to sleep. We block those. Hold this. Take your mans with you. Oh, yeah. Let me try something new. We, we fools always got to use weapons. We, we pay two piece. We stupid. Dummy. Loser. We wrapping Yo, we up now. Our fool's really weak. Yeah, I can't lie. This fool cold, bro. Shorty gets taken hostage, which why you ain't stay your ass at the restaurant? You could have just looked out the window and seen what was going on. Bro spins over two people and proceeds to deck bro in the face. And another one tries to sneak on, but got his reading level sent back to the first grade. But his bro is fighting him off. He gets slashed in the ankle. His bro is about to get decked by a baseball bat. The squad pulls up. We got Raichi from Blue Lock, Ben K from Blade Blade, the homie Inamaki. I don't know who this fool looked like, but he don't look like he belong in high school. Anyway, the gang started getting busy. Ben K started body slamming fools. Inamaki hitting people with knees. Preset we character 12 hitting people with combos. This dumbass tried to run up on Two Tone, but got his ass sent to the land thereafter. Not gonna lie, that fool gotta be dead. So they beat off all the thugs, but Two Tone not jacking the set because he been around fake fools all his life. But what they say? Coochie solves all problems. Cause soon Shorty said we got you. Oh, lease up in the air. Okay. All right. Don't your nice. ankle just on critical alert two yeah, seconds ago? Out. And bro Luke Kane kicks the mess out of bro. That's windbreakers. Yeah. Oh, y'all wanted me to keep going? Really? 
I got it. Well, you better hit that damn like button. Bro, I can still see you ain't hit the damn like button. After getting glazed by the town for a little bit, bro sees one of his classmates getting his ass beat in the alleyway. Two tone pulls up his schedule, bro, for an early vanilla appointment in Guatemala. And one taps the rest of the game. So they become friends. Hmm. Sound familiar. Anyway, they pull up to school. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they go to the school called Fruin and High. That's actually where Two Tone's goal is to become the top of. He's basically a freshman. But my question is, is there actual delinquent gangs based off of schools in Japan? Or this just some anime cap? I'm not gonna lie. If that's true, that's stupid. You thought I was finna say it was cool? All these badass kids fighting and not getting their education. Lock in, bro. I know damn well they don't got these kids going to this damn graffiti, run down ass, broke down ass school. Like, where's the tax money going? To school drip? But bro goes to class. Now, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I would've had to walk my ass right back out. You got a grown man in the back doing pull-ups. All the students' desks turned to the side knowing damn well the teachers ain't gonna allow that shit. These fools done had art class on the damn chalkboard. Yeah, I see why ain't no teacher there. That motherfucker probably quit. So they find out Two Tone's hands is valid from the brawl that happened earlier. And instantly dick, start bro. blazing, bro. Until I kid you not, someone <laughs> throws a damn desk at this fool. Is that Baji? Yeah, they not ever trying to hide at this point, bro. Come on. Bro instantly dashes him and straight destroy his best with his bare hands. Y'all already know Two Tone shifty as hell and ain't going for none of that. Baji try to sneak, bro, but Two Tone's weaving all his attacks. So, bro slips and Baji tries to end his life right then and there. But Two Tone too slick for that and weaves and up kicks bro's chin meat. Had bro ass leaking. So, apparently, since bro wants to be top dog at his school, Baji is the number one's top glazer. So, he didn't take too kindly to bro's ambition. That's why he ran up on him just to get his ass beat, bro. But before they can finish, they get an announcement on the intercom. Uh, this thing going? Yeah. Y'all in school, but it's not really school. Our only main objective is to protect the town and, uh, bag holes. So, yeah, don't fight each other. And they make up. Honestly, bro, after all the BS I see in anime, I have to say, this kind of one of the more believable things. So the freshmen get called out and have to go patrol around the city. They really pushing the issue that these fools not going to school. All right. So while on patrol, they run into this kid getting run down by the ops. Baji and Two Tone gives bro straight CTE. The second big homie in charge, Slow Mo, pulls up and bro is on bad timing. He starts straight up wailing on bro who just got CTE and takes his jacket off and kicks him out the game. So this gang's whole purpose is if you're weak or you lose, you basically ain't part of the set no more. Hmm. Sounds familiar. Anyway, Two Tone got a problem with that because he don't like people picking on Scrubs. Slow Mo wasn't with the fade right now, so he'll catch him on the backside. So the gang pull up the report back to number one. Tell me why they got Bokuto ass as the leader, bro. Bro wasn't really tripping at all at the situation. It actually congratulates Two Tone on being a real one. But as they talk, and big homie of the Ops God Choji pulls up after beating down half of the gang. But Bokuto pulls up and checks, bro. But bro wasn't with all that talking and runs up and kicks Bokuto. Bokuto ain't one of those. So Straight blocks that. Jank. Bro basically a hater and said he doesn't want Bokado to have nothing and wants to take it all away from him. And just as he says that, his squad pulls up. Fruin wasn't worried about none of that because they deep too, I'm not gonna lie. We gotta admit, this show got aura, bruh. Like, who thought I'll be watching Teenage Game Wars and actually enjoying it for once? Damn, Tokyo Regis. So since it's beef between the sets, Head Honcho gets the idea to run solo phase tournament style the next day. So the next day rolls around and the two sets meet up. They take these fools to an underground fight club so mop head calls out baji and i'm not gonna lie who let you come out the house like that game why you out here looking like 2013 rihanna lock in bro anyway bro starts dissing baji's master and y'all already know his glaze senses start tingling baji got his ass snuck a bro straight up eats that and choke slams bro to the stage not gonna lie bro how you was talking all that stuff to get one shot in front of all the homies then laid out and kicked on not gonna lie glock's gotta get brung out game so next up we got pirate man like bro he he looks like someone. I just can't put my finger on it though. First is Tweakaholic. So the fight starts and bro tries to run up and get first blood, but gets spun around like a little kid. Jack Sparrow started talking crazy too, saying he look like I gotta put a beating on you like your parents should have. So bro got mad and tries to run up again just to get put on his ass again. Tries to grab bro leg just to get tossed around like a baby. Then bro starts yapping about a dog hood, but bro wasn't trying to hear all that. Runs up again just to get eight trigon palm to the chest. Bro keeps trying to come at bro, but it's looking bad because he keeps getting and tossed on his ass. Then bro started tweaking out and shaking ass on stage. Like, bro, <laughs> just give it up, bro. You get in the bear style here, gang. But bro runs up again, so. gets triple weave, shoulder bump, foreign caught and push, weaves his kick, quick takedown, lifts him back up the weave, smacks him in the face, yeah. gut shot, flipped him on his ass again to get reverse flipped on his ass to get thrown again. Had to be the most 
second hand embarrassment I ever witnessed in my life, bro. Well, bro runs up again just to get weave, grabbed by the hoodie and clothesline. Then bro starts getting booed out the arena. Bro starts crashing out, but bro checks his ass while almost kicking him in the face. Slow mo got tired of watching his maskers that he stops the fight and kicks him out the game. Damn you sorry. But next up we got Raichi versus Kimma. Kimma start giving bro the hands, but nothing's connecting. Bro. These two are fairly even until bro throws out a damn kick, catches it, then switches it into a damn question mark kick. Now that's one of the toughest things I ever seen in anime, bro. Then he started making Raichi look stupid, weaving all his stuff, then runs. I might have to watch the anime, I ain't gonna lie. I, th I you know what I'm saying I'm watching I'm in the middle of one piece right now. Yeah, I said the middle. Yeah, I, I I fought my way to the middle. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna finish that in the in the next month, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna watch this anime, I ain't gonna lie. So clips him and spin kicks bro off the stage. Me, See, I'm, yo, him, I'm not them. crazy. As it looked like Raichi is down and yo, out. He gets up and tries tough. to hit bro with the force of God. He dead ass try to send bro to the afterlife. But they start throwing their hands again. These boys are boxing. I'm not going to. Till bro straight up tries to tackle him. Fakes it. Gets behind him. Bro is ready for a straight kick him to the dome meat. Then bro try to throw another punch out. Gets it caught and gets hit with a nasty body shot that puts him out. So next up we got our boy Two Tone versus Slow Mo. Two-Tone tries to start out with a punch, but finds out real quick, this ain't about to be no fight. We wrestling. And as he's about to get grounded, and pounded, he up kicks, but Slow-Mo weaves it. So Slow-Mo keeps trying to wrap up, but Two-Tone is dodging it. They start squabbling, but no hits are connected. So after some more missed attack, bro finally gets a kick off and nails bro in the dome. Gets grabbed midair, thrown to the ground, and almost stepped on. Bro is trying to kill this man. He kept trying to stomp on this man. So Two-Tone tries to wrap up, but that's not his game. He gets his face mushed into the ground. And it's not looking good for our boy. Till Slow Mo tried to call bro weak and Two Tone start locking in. Yep, time for that main character treatment. These two start scrapping again, but Slow Mo is still not being buzzed. Till Two Tone hits bro with a nasty rib shot. Tries to follow it up with some shots, but Slow Mo is weaving it. Slow Mo tries to attack, but Two Tone oh, leaves yeah. and hits bro with a nasty flip kick. Bro still wasn't what? done yet and kicks the air out of Two Tone's stomach. Then stomps on bro's head. Yep, I know that fool got CTE now. Then bro finds out the actual reason they all fighting for leaves the stage and start beating on the dudes that was chasing around a little homie because basically that's not what their gang stands for the whole reason bros even portrayed as the evil dude is because little dude over there is actually a crackhead that enjoys fighting a little bit too much so instead of showing that light to the world he rather took the mantle of the bad guy so his friend can be protected not gonna lie w man's still a little stupid though then bro just casually walks back on the stage and that was gangster as hell bro but so they start duking it out again but two-tone catches bro with a nasty body shot two-tone noticed that bro is not trying hard anymore bro knocks the spirit back into him bro straight decks him in the face so these fools start boxing in and they are beating each other's asses and smiling yeah that's cte it'll do it to you so after these fools straight double kick each other it's a stalemate they both prepare for the final blow and two-tone actually wins then choji gets on stage ready for his match and slow-mo tries to chill him out but bro kicks his back best friend his man's into the wall and damn near knocks him out two-tone didn't take too kindly to that and it's about to hit him but big bro bokuto pulls up and it's time for the final fight between the leaders bokuto and choji nah yo, yo i hope you enjoyed the yo i'm gonna need to watch that i'm gonna need to watch that broski she it's a lot of fighting you know you have me in the first the first clip when a nigga was was, was was punching, you know what I'm saying? You had me, not gonna lie. Yeah, W W Lil Vid, W Lil Vid.